Hi my dear students I am Shulbha Sharma from St Joseph's Academy Today we are going to learn nouns and the types of nouns in English grammar grade 5 The first and foremost thing that we learn in English grammar is noun it is one of the fundamentals of English grammar today we are going to learn more about it as well as the types of nouns we will see what exactly is called noun and how do we identify the different types of nouns so let's learn what is noun the words which are used as the name of people place animals or things are called as a noun a word that is the name of a thing an idea a place or a person is called noun it is called as noun for example water happiness james and india are all nouns these are the name place animals people or thing this is how we identify what exactly is noun a noun in simple word is a word that refers to a thing that is let's say book a person that is let's say shulbha sharma an animal like cat or dog a place like dubai a quality like softness an idea like justice or an action like yelling at someone it's usually a single word but not always like cake shoes school bus and time are all known as nouns okay let's repeat after me a noun is a word that describes a person place thing or idea examples of nouns include names like dubai i repeat locations like delhi objects like table in the physical world or objects and concepts that do not exist in the physical world for example a dream or a theory all of these are known as noun The examples of noun are written on the screen. Let's read aloud. Here, the number one sentence is Anita is laughing. So, who is laughing here? Anita is laughing. Now, Anita, being a person, stands for noun here. Second sentence is he has a pet dog. What does he has? he has a pet dog so dog which stands for animal looks here as a noun third one is they live in delhi now delhi all of you know that it is a name of a place which means it is a noun the last one is he writes with a pen with what does he write he writes with a pen so pen over here is a thing and thing is an example of noun so in the first line we have written anita apart from this any other name be it abhishek or shulbha or garima any name can come and all these names will be counted as nouns next here is written dog dog is indeed an animal but we can add a name of another animal as well be it horse elephant cat etc next one comes is delhi everybody knows that it is a place a name of a place now it could be agra lucknow thailand anything the last one is a pen a pen laptop table chair 
so far all these things which are physical in nature we can very well touch is a thing and a thing comes under noun what does it comes under noun so far we have got to know what exactly is noun and what are its various examples so that we can identify which word is a noun a name a place an animal a thing or emotion all of these things come under the bucket of noun now let's have a look at the types of noun there are five main types of noun number 1 is proper noun number 2 common noun number 3 collective noun number 4 abstract noun and number 5 material noun let's have a look at the first one which is proper noun so a proper noun refers to the name of a specific person place or thing what stands for specific means special or particular upon him the emphasis has been given so the proper noun refers to the name of a specific person place or thing for example i put up in delhi so delhi here is the highlighting part of the sentence my best friend's name is jessica so jessica here will be proper noun because i am putting the emphasis on the name which is jessica now what other examples are miss jane which is a name smith which is a name antarctica which is a name of a place and samsung is a thing it is a brand so i agree that samsung is a name of a brand but we use many things many appliances with the name of samsung be it mobile phone television set washing machine etc so all these names where something is being highlighted or written specifically is known as proper noun now next one is common noun a name for an unspecified place person or thing is called as common noun so many times you must have heard someone saying that this place or this dish is very common which means it can be found anywhere or everywhere this is why it is called common so the examples of common noun can be book you have so many books right of different subjects so the subjects might be proper but the book is the same that is why it is known as common noun a car there are many cars right toyota um maruti suzuki mercedes rolls royce all of these are proper noun but these come under one category which is car next one is temple so there must be many type of temples near your houses all of them are common then lamp a subway teacher etc so you wish teachers a happy teachers day on a particular day right every teacher is being wished which is something very common but a particular teacher is getting a wish from you is a proper noun so this is a basic and common difference next one comes up to be collective noun so a collective noun indicates a group of individuals or things etc for example battalion crew committee audience team etc so something which is being gathered all at once 
which is stating in a group that is called collective noun. A collective noun indicates a group of something. For example, a herd of cattle. So here we can identify that the cattle is not alone. They are in a herd, which is they are in collective sense. Next one is a troop of singers. So there are so many singers, but their group is called troop. So, troop here is a collective noun. Next one comes up to be abstract noun. An abstract noun expresses feelings, emotions, expressions. And these are the things that we cannot see. We can only feel them. What we can do? We can only feel them. So, the things that are not visible to us yet they can be felt is abstract noun. For example, anger, happiness, truth, etc. We all know the meaning of all these words. We all know how should we react while using these words. And we also know how these words are to be felt. But we cannot see them. The reason why it is known as an abstract noun. Next and the last one comes up to be material noun. A materialist noun is known as the word that describes the name of a material. For example, money, aluminium, gold, silver, etc. So unlike abstract noun, material noun on the other side can be seen, can be touched and can be known to us. The examples are well written here. Money, aluminium, gold, etc. Your parents must be having some jewelry of gold or silver or platinum or diamond. All these things are materials. Let's go ahead to the next slide. Let's deep dive a bit in the common noun. The common noun is used as the name of a person, a place, an animal or thing that are called common noun. These can be found or touched anywhere for example, if we take an example of a person, then actor, doctor, farmer, joker, king, all of these are known as the person, which are very common. Next one comes up to be animal, bull, cat, dog, fox, lion. All these are the names of animals that are really common to us. We must have seen them at least once in our life. Next one is places like airport, bank, church, factory, park. If you notice, there are no specific names mentioned over here. Airport. Which airport? Is it Mumbai one, Chhatrapati, Shivaji or is it Delhi one? Indira Gandhi International. Next one comes up to be bank. So there is no particular name mentioned over here. Axis Bank, HDFC, Kotak Mahindra Bank, just bank. And banks are therefore common. The last one is thing. For example, Almira, computer, book, eraser, desk, etc. So books can be specific to subject or anything related to fiction. But here nothing has been mentioned as such. So we'll take it as common now. Almira. You must be having many Almiras at your home. Next one is computer. So there here no brand has been mentioned. Be it Toshiba, Lenovo or Mac. 
just computer has been mentioned. Next one is proper noun. A proper noun is the particular name given to a certain common nouns. Just like I mentioned in the previous slide, when we talk about bank, I mentioned the names of a few bank and those names were proper noun. For example, the name of people, Kishore Kumar. Name of countries like India, Singapore, China, USA. Name of the cities like Agra, Delhi. So they are always begin with capital letters. This is how we recognize that it is a proper noun. All these things that you can see in the picture on the left side, all of these are proper noun. Zeus, Jupiter, Australia, Taj Mahal, Santa Claus, Titanic, the Bible, King Charles I or II, all of them are proper nouns. Let's have a quick comparison between common nouns and proper nouns. The common nouns are used to make to name general groups, people, places, things and ideas. Here I would like to highlight the word general. Next one comes up to be proper noun that are used to name specific people, place and things and they must begin with capital letter. So here I would highlight specific. This is the main difference between common noun and proper noun. Let's have a quick example review. One side there are common nouns and on the other side there are proper nouns. If it is a lady, it can be any lady. But when it comes to Helen, this is proper noun. Month, there are 12 months in a year. But if we specify that in January your birthday comes, so January will be a proper one. There are seven days in a week, but Monday is very special. Why? Because here a specific day has been mentioned, which comes up to be proper noun. Next one is country. So there are 100 plus countries in this world, but Japan is one proper one. Last one is ocean. There are many oceans in the world, but Pacific one is proper noun. I hope you now you understand the types of noun and noun itself. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you.